Okay, everybody. Good morning. I'm Kim. And I'm Erin, and we are Candy RVTV. And we just spent the night at a Harvest House here in Hagerstown, Maryland, mm -hmm. at Thick and Thin Brewery. It was a great spot. We parked behind the building, so it's uh, kind of a little bit private, secluded. Mm -hmm. Uh, can't really be seen unless you just come back here. So and it was a the, nice safe spot. And the parking lot was level so we didn't have mm -hmm. to do much. Just pull up basically, put our stabilizers down, our chocks up, and went and drank some beer. Enjoyed our night, yeah. <laughs> and we bought some beer so we can enjoy that um, along the rest of our trip. Yeah. But uh, get on the road. We're going to a winery. What's it called? Marceline Vineyards. Yes. It's in Crawford, Virginia. Another Harvest Sorry, Host. So there's so many cities that we've already been yeah. to this week. It's hard to keep track. It's hard to keep track of where we are, number one. We're in Maryland. Yes. Have you ever been here? Oh, you have. I, I have haven't. once, yeah. Nope. But, when um, I was younger. We're going back to Virginia and drink some wine tonight. Yeah, we're doing a hard, it'll be our fourth Harvest Host day. Mm -hmm. So we're excited. I've never been to a vineyard really yeah, vineyard. Either, so I'm really excited for that. And it's mm -hmm. only a two hour drive, so mm -hmm. not too much. Yep. And the weather seems all right, so let's hit it. For the dogs and for us, we're trying not to drive too far in one yeah. day. And we have the time, so we're taking it slow. Yes. All right, let's go have some fun. Let's do it. We are Kim and Aaron, and this is Zach and Cody. We are best friends living and traveling full time in our renovated RV, Lucy. We have been on the road since October 2020, so please subscribe to join in on all the fun. RVTV, K and E on VTV, sing it with us. We are on the road, made it back to the 81 South, and we are just getting in to Virginia. Um, this road gives me a little PTSD because this is the road that we lost our transmission on on the way up to New Hampshire. But hopefully nothing like that happens. Righty, we are in Frederick County, Virginia. Getting to see some mountains here in the distance. And just happy there's no traffic, no rain. It's a beautiful day today. It's like in the maybe the mid 50s right now. So we're loving this cooler weather. It makes it perfect for boondocking and uh, sleeping with no electricity and no AC. It's uh, nature's natural AC, right Cody? <laughs> They're um, fighting over the seat as they normally do. They kind of drive me a little bit crazy, but you know, they just want to get to where we are. We'll be there soon, baby. We have uh, it's maybe a little over an hour. So we get to the vineyards. Super excited to be there. Alrighty, we made it off the highway. We're about five minutes away from the winery. And we are in Shenandoah Valley. And we're gonna be in Crawford, Virginia. So there's a lot of other wineries in this area too, if that's your thing. There was also a lot of different caves, caverns that were um, I noticed on the drive down so that's pretty cool too we did we did some caves when we were in Tennessee that were really awesome but we'll be to the winery very shortly and it looks like we're gonna have an amazing view we made it to the vineyard just pulled down the road it's a little gravel road Cody excited we're here Woo! look at these red trees love it we have arrived this beautiful winery we've taken a minute to get set up but this is our view we got some little vineyards right here in front of us you can see these beautiful mountains here we're in the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia this winery is really cute we got little areas you can socialize some lounge chairs they have a big fire pit back in there this is the winery building here. We'll go check that out soon. But I have all these vineyards right here. So we're gonna go check out some grapes. See if there's any grapes. I don't think it's grape season, but I don't know. Hey, Erin. Oh yeah, this morning when we left Maryland, we forgot to put our Maryland sticker on the map. Yeah. So. We're gonna do that now since we already got our Virginia sticker already mm -hmm. anyway. So, okay. can you find Maryland? Maryland. Oh yeah, you learned you made a mistake on that before. Yeah, this one is a teeny one, though, so we gotta be careful. Be careful. She's 
tiny. <laughs> very, very fragile little one. All right. Okay. Good. So like, I guess I should start with this end. Go down a little lower. You can do it. Yeah. Okay, that worked out right. Yay. How exciting. We really went from Pennsylvania to Maryland and we drove a little through West Virginia today and now we're... Yeah, West Virginia was like five minutes. It yeah. said like West Virginia and then like I swear five minutes later it was like, Virginia. Okay. Yeah, I forgot we were even going I through know, it. I know, I didn't even think that we were going through West yeah. Virginia. All right, we gotta put this back inside and then we're gonna go check out the winery. Woo! Not a bad view, eh? I'll take it. Look at this. Look at this. Plenty of extra car parking. But we're gonna go see some great fun. This is so cool. It is about. Like 65 degrees right now. When we pulled in, it was about 70. It was a little warm, but now that the sun's uh, going down, uh, we're not bored again. <laughs> we feel like 70 degrees is warm. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's the warmest we've experienced. I but, was like, oh my god! I like had a sweater on. I was like ripping it off <laughs> while we were setting up the RV. Yeah. And we had shorts on. This but, is fun to walk through, but there's no grapes. Yeah, I guess it's not grapes. Season. It's not grape season. But it's still really cool. I've always wanted to walk through it. Again. Dreams happen. <laughs> I'm just happy to see you smile, Aaron. Yeah. Smile I'm for the people. I'm gonna smile even more when we get inside. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder. I know why. What, a, what a shame we have to stay at a distillery and a winery and, and a brewery. And tomorrow we're gonna be staying at an equestrian. Horses. What what? Excited for that. Yeah. So, a lot of the harvest hosts are at farms. Breweries, wineries, you know, places that have big parking lots that allow you to park the big rigs that we have. And then the places get some business exactly. at the same time and we get a free place to stay. A win-win for everybody. Uh -huh. You're in the business, you have somewhere safe to stay. Yeah, there ain't nobody coming to get to us here. You know, like last night we were in a parking lot, like, yeah. you know, somebody could get us. But here, I don't think we could possibly feel safer than for where real. we are right now. And they have um, wild dogs running around. Yeah, we pulled up and then we were greeted by a dog. It was fabulous. Mm -hmm. Aaron said wild dogs. I'm like, I don't think they're wild. They live here. She had a collar on. <laughs> they're not wild dogs. Unleashed. <laughs> Unleashed. Untethered. <laughs> that was funny. But this is beautiful. I was wondering if we were going to get any kind of sunset, but it's a little cloudy. But this is so fun. We're at a winery. Yes, this is life. <laughs> Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Kitty Garfield. cat. It was Garfield. <laughs> He's an orange cat. All right, you ready to drink some wine? Yeah. So they have a border collie here and a pug. A fat pug at that. Yeah. The dogs got to meet them earlier when we got here. They did a little walk. But it's cute, they got pumpkins out here. Hi. Wanted to go ahead and give you guys a look around inside. It's really cute in here. They have a nice, I gotta show you the fireplace first just because it's so warm and cozy. Look at this. Oh, it feels so comforting in here. It's really, really cool. Oh, uh, I feel the heat. We found some other goodies. A nice cooler over here. We've got some meats, but there's pimento cheese. We had to get one. We're getting one. Yummy. And even some borzing going on. We got garlic and chive. And then some non-alcoholic beverages, sodas, water. Even have some merch too. Got some shirts. I love the tie dye. Seating in here as well. Little section over here. All right, we went inside and we got our wine flight. We're gonna sit here at this picnic table with this beautiful view behind us and that Lucy, you all get to see. And Lucy in the background. Lucy in the background. We were gonna sit at the fire pit, but there was a bunch of people over there, so we're like, let's go over here. But we got this wine flight. 
It was fourteen ninety nine. I don't know. A fourteen for the flight is four. So we chose the Merlot Blanc, which is actually it's a really pretty color. Uh -huh. I had to get the cab because I was checking out the reviews. Lily followed us over here. <laughs> she is the cutest the, little, oh, little she's baked potato. They call yeah, <laughs> the bartender called her, called her a little baked potato, a loaded baked loaded potato. potato. She is fully loaded that one. <laughs> she's so cute. All right. Okay, so we have the Merlot Blanc. The Cabernet Sauvignon, because everybody on the view said that this was the best. Uh -huh. Then we got the raspberry dessert wine. Yep. And then we tried the blueberry slushy. Blueberry slushy. I think it's a good choice. Good, yeah. Good arrangement. I don't know if that's a word. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. Or you don't know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. I, I'm excited to try the wines. I'm a wine girl. Kim's just doing it because she's a champ. The slush is for her, probably. Ooh, it's good. A little chili out for a slushy. It's a little mm. tart. Mm. Blueberry. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. It's not too sweet. Like I said, definitely got tart. It's not like tart, tart. but it's definitely got some tart. Mm -hmm. Be good on a summer day. Mm -hmm. As you said, normally they have about four different slushy, slushy flavors mm -hmm. during like the summertime. Mm -hmm. But obviously now it's fall, so it's a little cooler. But that is really, really delicious. I'm not sure of the alcohol content in the slushy, but it's really tasty. All right, we're gonna do this. Let's do the raspberry. We're doing dessert first. Dessert wine. This is so cool, Aaron. I like that a lot. Mm. That'd be good with some chocolate. Mm. Ooh, nice catch. <laughs> you have the reflexes of a baked potato. I used to be a third baseman. <laughs> All right. I'm saving the cab for last because that's the one I'm most excited about. Mm -hmm. So this is the Merlot Blanc. Merlot Blanc. It smells like a rosé. It looks like a rosé. Oh, that's nice. It's really, really mild. Really, really mild. Oh, yeah. yeah, got a mm -hmm. little, maybe like a little peachy undertone to it. It's nice. That's good though. Cab. Aaron's oh. favorite. Okay, you can try it first because I'm... Um, I'm really excited about it. Tastes like cream cheese. Kim always <laughs> says, um, like, cabs, red wines taste like no, cream cheese. No, not really. Not too no? much. Okay. I'm, oh. It's pretty good, though. It smells a little oaky. Oaky? It smells like wood. Ooh. It's got, like, a little sweet finish to it. That would be really good with, like, some steak. Steak. Mm -hmm. We're eating burgers tonight. Or a burger. Aaron's cooking us burgers. Oh, that's really good. I really like that. Let me see if I can see a little bit about it. What's your favorite? <clears throat> Low tannins, but high on satisfaction, aged in oak. Okay, I was right. Our cab sav is like a gentle hug from a loved one. Love that. It glides across your taste buds with ease, leaving a lingering kiss of berry. So that's a little bit of sweet that I got. Mm -hmm. Pairs well with steak or barbecue. Did okay. you read this first? I did not. I just know I like wine and I know what I like. So I know. this is, I we're getting a bottle. I like doing here. tastings like this rather than getting ones like big glass or something, getting able to try a bunch of different things. Yeah, especially when you're not a wine drinker. So mm -hmm. trying like, you know, some local stuff where you, you are. You never know what you like. Right? This, um, um. cheers. Thanks for joining us, y'all. We're very Har excited for our evening. Harvest House is pretty cool. Yeah. Allowing us to stay at a lot of really cool locations. We've never come here. Yeah. There's a lot of wineries in this area. Oh yeah, we saw a lot on the way. A lot of wineries. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think because we're in a valley, we're in Shenandoah Valley. So I guess valleys are good for growing grapes. Yeah, because like I guess like when where the light hits one side of the hill and not the other side, it's like better. A little bit of reason. I, I used to work at a cheese and wine bistro years ago. Mm -hmm. So I had a little bit of knowledge, but I just know what I like. I know what tastes good and she just likes to drink no matter what it is. I'm an Irish girl. <laughs> Love you, best friend. Love you too. This is an amazing adventure for both of us. We're blessed. The only thing I will say is I wish the tasting was in some little glasses. Cause like, like for me- Wine glasses? Yeah, drinking out of plastic still tastes good, but like I feel like to get the real deal, it's mm -hmm. gotta be in a glass. So definitely have to get a glass of wine or a bottle of this cab. And I was, I want to drink it over by the fire, but there's people over there. There's people. There's people. <laughs> Gosh, how dare there be right? people out what in public? The heck?
Hi, my babies. Hello. <laughs> we, oh, we just shoved it away when we left Pennsylvania. Um, the bad thing about filming with the RV in the background, the dogs can see us. Yes, they know. They saw us cheating on them with Lily. Oh, yeah, they saw it all. So uh, they were not happy, so. Now we can come and hang out here after we did our little tasting. Give me a half an hour to get this untangled. Sure, no problem. We got these beautiful lounge chairs here. Sitting here enjoying the view. There's a farm over here in the background. This is so cool. I love this beautiful this is, tree right here. I've always, always, like my whole life, I've wanted to come to a winery. Like uh -huh. real deal. And we're here. We're here. And what is life? And we just have to buy some wine to stay here. What a shame. What a shame. I guess we'll just struggle through. Struggle bus. You know, life is hard. <laughs> we got a, We do have a rough life. <laughs> Does anybody out there feel bad for us? Leave right? a comment. <laughs> Let us know what you think of our journey. Do you think we're crazy? Do you think we're fun? Are we the coolest people ever, Aaron? Coolest we, people you know? we, we always say we're, we're the coolest people we're that the coolest we know. People that we, no, Grandma is the coolest. Person. Oh, my grandma's the coolest. Grandma Jerry. She's she's, she's been, been around. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere we're going, she like knows exactly where to go. She's like, oh, I've been there. Oh, I did that. Yep. She has. She's the real. <laughs> she's the real cool one. Yeah, Grandma. <laughs> Lily came to visit the dogs. Zucker's tail wagging, that's a good sign. He's still unsure. Yeah. He, he doesn't understand what small dogs are. Yeah. He get it. But he's good. Cody's just worried about marking his territory everywhere. She, Lily was peeing and then Cody was peeing. Pee right where she pees. <laughs> right, Cody? He's having fun, Cody? He love it here. He was laying down for a minute while you went to the bathroom. He's having fun. <laughs> this place is really beautiful. We're just watching all the leaves fall from the trees. Super quiet, super peaceful. This is beautiful. This is like incredible. Right? Harvey's host, like, can't recommend it enough. This is only our, our fourth stay. Fourth, I guess. Fourth stay in, in seven, in six days. Uh huh. So, we're very happy. Right? We've been, we've been at this six days already. I feel like it's been like a month. <laughs> but at the same time, because we've only been driving, that's a, the really the benefit is that. There's not really a checkout time, mm -hmm. or like you know you have to check in at this time, check out that time. It's more of like the their hours of operation. Yeah, you have to get you have to get to your harvest house before they close, obviously. Uh -huh. But there's no like rush you out, so we can really kind of take our time. Like this morning, we woke up at the brewery. Uh huh. Had our coffee. Dishes, had our coffee. I went to Walmart. Yeah, Aaron went there to was Walmart. A super Walmart, literally. Walking the same distance. Plaza, basically. Uh -huh. So I got some things that we needed. So that was super convenient. Yeah, we needed a little bit more water because. We just, we only drink our bottled water yeah. and give the dogs bottled water. Mm -hmm. So we gotta make sure we always have fresh water. water. And, and we then- We got some coffee creamers, some sodas, just a couple more snacks. Mm -hmm. Just, it was great that anything mm -hmm. you need, you can get at Walmart and it was literally right there. So I just mm -hmm. drove over, came and stayed with the dogs, started breaking everything down yep. to get ready to go. And it worked out. <laughs> mm -hmm. You could have just noticed Lily again. <laughs> 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 but love this. When we first started our RV journey, like this, this is, is we yeah, we pictured doing a lot of this stuff, but traveling fast is very expensive, and very expensive, it's a lot too. and exhausting. It's a lot when you're driving, you know, hours and uh -huh. hours. Like the the fact we the most we've driven now was what like three hours, tops. Oh, so this trip. This like yeah, these legs the most. Well, yeah, even three, hours. three hours on the GPS probably took us like four. Yeah. With stopping and we can't go as fast exactly. and stuff like that. But, but I mean, still, it's been just it's been nice. We're yeah. Just like taking it one or two days at a time. We mm -hmm. did uh, make our reservation for tomorrow. We said earlier we were staying at Equestrian Center. Yep. And then the it's only an hour night, away. And the following night we're staying at a drive-in. Unfortunately, they're it's closed. Open, but I still think it's gonna be really fun to sleep at a drive-in. Because we when we when we booked it, it said oh they're open on the weekends. Mm -hmm. and check their website. Then we after when, we booked it. Yeah, after we booked <laughs> it, we checked it because it's gonna be Friday night. Mm -hmm. And then after we checked it, the website it's like it's closed for the they're season. Until March. I'm like dang it! It would've been so but cool I, to see a drive-in and stay there. Really? See a movie? I still think it's gonna be fun to just sleep at a drive-in. Like, yeah. Have you ever done that in your life? Never. Exactly. So, and it's we free. Used, we used to go to Swap Shop Drive-in in Fort Lauderdale. Too, though, is like places like that. Where you, how are you gonna patron the business? Because yeah. they're not open. Uh huh. So that's super free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's super free. We don't have to buy. Sounds good to me. They're not open. Sounds right? good to me. So there you go. There's always a benefit somewhere. You always gotta find that silver lining. But we're enjoying life right now, and it's crazy. It's the end of October. We got our a pimento cheese tub, and then I had to get a glass of the cab. So good. In a glass, uh -huh. so I can get the real taste. Yay. And then we also got our sticker. Yes. I think it's super pretty. Love it. 
Purple. And Charlie took care of us. She is Super amazing. Super sweet. She has a baby due in April. Mm -hmm. So we're praying good things for that whole situation. Cheers. Cheers. All right. You're drinking, first. you're drinking wine at a vineyard, Erin. In Virginia. What is life? It's the best. Life is what you make it, and we're making it. Uh-huh. We're trying. Oh. We're trying. <laughs> She's been following us around everywhere. She's like the. She the followed highlight. Aaron inside, and the dogs were like, "What? Why are you leaving?" Mm -hmm. She's cute. The other dog is. Um, what kind of dog did you say it was? A uh, border collie. Border collie, sweet, but like. Greeted us when we got here. And then it went MIA. Uh -huh. But Lily has been our little hanging shadow. around. <laughs> She's thinking cute, man. So we got the pimento cheese, and the bartender said that this is a 60-year-old recipe. Family recipe. And they get it in fresh every, every single day. They basically sell out of it every day. Brenda's. Yes. <laughs> cheese and wine, y'all. Cheese and wine. Cheese and wine is life. This view is No, we can't get over crazy. it. Like, Lucy's right there. Mm -hmm. That's her house. What? What? This is crazy. They probably can't see from my angle. I don't know. This is just, I'm so blessed. We're blessed. We're lucky. We're safe. This couldn't be more beautiful. Yeah. You want some pimento cheese? He does. He like, oh. <laughs> no, because we keep saying the cheese yeah, word. The cheese <laughs> word. But Lily did leave. She Aww. took off running, so I think her parents must be around. <laughs> she ran away, but she's the cutest loaded baked potato I've ever seen in my life. Look at this fire pit, y'all. What is life? This is huge. It's like a big cauldron. Look how big these pieces of firewood are. This feels amazing right now. The sun's going down, so it's getting chilly. The view, it's like they got these beautiful lights on you too. The There's Lucy over the there. The this really cool table underneath here. That's awesome. We could come out and eat our burgers. Hold on. This is Kim's favorite site. Oh, this is my favorite site to see all this firewood. It's like, ah. Oh so good on my bum. Are you warming your bun? Oh, it feels so good on my bum. Fire oh, on man. your bum. So she has me like driving and being sitting in the car, even though we only drove a couple hours today. It's yeah. So... Oh, wow. Oh, I can hear the dogs. Can you hear them? Oh, they're barking. They can they're see They probably us. could see us. They can probably see us. Um, but yeah, I can just feed this fire night long if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, y'all. It's dinner time. Have some burgers, pre-made burgers. I'm just seasoning them with some my butt rub, which is, you know, if you've been watching, you know I love my butt rub. And I have some baked beans with some canned bushes. Bushes. Country style baked beans. Those are my absolute mm -hmm. favorite. Heating those up on our propane stove, which luckily works without electricity. Yeah, we're boondocking. We boondocking, yeah. which means we're not hooked up to anything. Nope. We're just free roaming here <laughs> in the middle of the, the vineyard. So we have our cool. propane stove to use, so that's where all our meals have been cooked. You're not supposed to like really set up outside, act like you're camping. You're supposed to be like self-contained on the yeah. inside, yeah, while you're at a harvest house. Um, but I feel like we could use a black stone here if we really wanted to. They would, they, they yeah, closed. we're the only ones here that are closed, yeah. like we're not like in a parking lot or something, yeah. so. But we're still gonna follow the rules. Yeah. We are rule followers. For now. So I'm just, um, I, I took the burgers out a little bit ago and just let them, you know, get a little room temperature, even though it's cool outside. So it's like, they're probably like 60 degrees. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, just gonna cook these in. If you're wondering, this is can. how we travel with our microwave with the oh, yeah. pillow stuffed in there, wild. so it doesn't move. <laughs> it keeps it from sliding out or banging around. Yeah. So I'm just gonna make um, the burgers in a little frying pan. So I'm gonna have to probably do one at a time. So we'll eat in. I think we should try the pimento cheese. You have some crackers. If oh, try right now. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Where is it? We're here. Where'd you put the cheese? In the fridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where else would I put it? <laughs> All right, we're trying this pimento cheese. It's kind of like mm. a little crumbly compared to like, I don't it's know so, how to describe it. It's so creamy when it gets in your mouth. Mm. I think this is really cold. I think it would be a little more spreadable if it wasn't as cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It's that's so good. different. That's mm. really different than any pimento cheese I've tried. Mm. Just, I mean, like the sweet. texture and the consistency. Look, it's almost oh. like, mm. how, I don't know how to describe it either, but. When you put it in your mouth, it like melts in your mouth. So I put the lighting in here. We're trying to save our battery and not have a lot of lights on. Back up. There you go. It's so good. Yummy. Mm. I almost would want to put that on my burger. Oh my God, it's so good. If we had like bacon, oh, that mm -hmm. with bacon on it would probably mm -hmm. fire. This is... Really Another good. thing we do while traveling... This was 
650. Another thing we do about when we travel in boondock is we try to get um like paper plates and plastic silverware and we have paper bowls we've been having soup because mm -hmm. can't just wash dishes all the time oh, whenever we want yeah. to we gotta like Make wait till they like out. stock up and so we don't want to have a ton of dishes yeah because i have to use like the pots and the pans uh -huh. to cook so we figure less dishes you know we 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 don't love always using throwaway stuff. We don't often at all. Yeah. But in case like this, it just it just makes sense. And yeah, to have less fresh. dishes. But I will reuse this. The, so where I wipe them off, we use uh -huh. direct wipes. We use disinfectant wipes. Blah blah blah. But it's just easier because dishes are not easy when you have a limited amount of water, water available and great tank space. Yeah, and when you're not hooked up, you have to be very mindful of kind of everything, everything you use, which is good too because it keeps you mm -hmm. accountable. We got burgers frying, y'all. Did you get cheese? What kind of cheese we got? I thought you said you wanted pimento cheese. No. I want American. I always, I love American on the burger because it melts so nicely. It gives you that nice creamy texture, velvetiness, a little salty. I prefer American. One thing we never had an issue with is this knife, knife board back there. It was one of the first thing we bought and... They've never moved. Never that moved. Works. And our spice rack. Yeah, this was in our old apartment. Yeah. Before we even started RV, when our RV dream started. This is our rag. Dirty rag. Gross. Yeah, this thing it holds a whole bunch of stuff. Works yeah, out great. It saves so much space. Screwed it in and it gives me more drawer space because we don't have a ton of space in our RV. But we actually got lucky with the space we do have, but then we realized we had too much crap. Yes. And then we lost our transmission. <laughs> and now we're trying to have less crap. But I'm still finishing up my glass of wine. They let me bring my wine glass in the RV because I <gasps> said I will return it tomorrow. It's really good. I want to go back by the fire though. Maybe after dinner, or we could eat by the fire. Our so dogs would relax. Yeah. The thing is, is where we're parked, they can see us. <laughs> so, do you think they stopped barking the mm -hmm. whole time we were over there earlier? No, but luckily the two people that were here were like, it's fine, mm -hmm. don't worry. We just don't want to stress them out either, you know, we're trying to make them as comfortable as possible too. Traveling with older dogs, you always have to take their needs. Mm -hmm. Into consideration. Priority, usually. <laughs> Came already. Dug in. I couldn't wait. Burger, it beans. Looks, we got onion buns. Yummy. Can you see it? And then some onion blossom chips. For a little yeah. crunch. Amazing dinner at a winery. Yeah, we're gonna put something on the iPad now and just relax for a bit. Enjoy. We got our some meal. episodes of Dateline downloaded. Woo! Good morning. Good morning <laughs> from the winery. Unfortunately. It's an ugly rainy day today. Yeah, I think the last time we saw you while we were just getting ready to eat our dinner. Mm -hmm. It was really, really good. Um, we are on level though. <laughs> we had to deal with that throughout the night, but it wasn't horrible. But I actually slept really well. Mm -hmm, me too. Yeah, I think we're, it's the fresh, the fresh air out here. The fresh air, we had some windows open. It was mm -hmm. great. We're really far from the road. So the, a lot of our other stops, we had to deal with road noise and other things like that here. Nothing. It was None really of that. Nice. We were really the only ones here. here. Yeah. Super peaceful. Great beautiful. day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now we're packing up. We're headed to our next location. We're still going to be in Virginia tonight, but we are staying at a horse farm. An equestrian center, yeah. Stonebridge Equestrian Center in Natural Bridge, Virginia. We're excited. So make sure you hit your notification bell, subscribe so you don't miss the rest of our adventures on this trip. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.